So everyone's talking about goals, goals, goals. This one's not about goals, all right? Everyone's talking about goals for 2022. Hopefully you guys have them. You guys have some goals for 2022. You guys do? You guys have written them down? Okay, great. Okay, so to help us achieve these goals, what do you guys think is what we need to have to achieve goals? The word of the, word of the meeting here. Great yeah. habits. Great habits, there you go. You've been looking at my notes? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good idea. Well, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love this guy. He, he like finishes my sentence. He's like knows what I'm thinking already. But yeah. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. You know, yeah. It, it is about the habits. Okay. So um, I want to uh, look up the dictionary of habit and let you guys know what I found out. Okay. A habit is a routine or practice performed regularly, and then also an automatic response to a specific situation. Okay, so we're gonna talk about habits, and we're actually gonna have a separate meeting where you guys are gonna go on the board and talk about what type of habits you're gonna have. So you could talk about what type of habits you wanna add, what type of habits you wanna keep, and what type of habits you actually wanna get rid of. Okay, because the habits over long periods of time is what actually helps us accomplish our goals, and there's actually even a bigger reason why habits are so important, okay? So habits, why, why do you guys think habits are so important, first of all? Just keeps you consistent. Keeps you consistent, right? What, what are some good habits that ha has helped you stay consistent? Just being motivated, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being motivated is a habit, mm -hmm. you know? Sometimes people, you know, once you do a habit over and over again, like a motivation thing, okay, then it just becomes regular. It doesn't become like, oh, I have to be motivated today. It's just like automatic. You know, and, that's, and that's the definition, right? And that's where we want to get to, where you, you do just do things automatically, you're not even actually thinking about it. And that's why, since I've developed good habits, I feel like I'm not worried about 2000. I don't have to come up with a master plan or like some game-changing activity or something that has to do that one time because I know my habits will carry on. And just, prompt, just trust that the, the habits are going to result to similar results because it's just automatic. I just keep doing the same thing, and I actually add more new things to it because I already conquered one habit. That one's so easy, I don't have to even think about that one anymore. I could add another habit on top of that. Okay, so some of the examples uh, I want to talk to you guys why habits are so example is because habits actually determine who you become. Okay, so just give me a random habit. No, like, don't take no for an answer, like, or if a person says, oh, it's too expensive, just try to, hey, you know what, yeah, we are expensive, but, you know, we're, we're, we're farmers and you have a lion, so, yeah, we are a little bit more expensive, so if we're on $20, $30 more, then, hey, why not, you know, so, like, make it a habit to, if, if you're too expensive, or find, make it a habit to find a, an answer, you know. Yeah. For, for, for anything, so, uh, they think, to me, that's, that's, like, one of the, most important habits for me in terms of like premium mm -hmm. is just to, yeah, yeah, we are more expensive, but we're farmers, so we're only 20 bucks more, so why not switch? Well, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's a great habit, okay? So how you respond to certain sales situation, it becomes a habit. You guys have noticed that if someone says this, I just always say that. Someone says this, I always say this. You know, that's a habit, right? But the point I want to also make is that it determines who you become. So if you always say that, and if you're able to close, you know, just even one out of 10 people that say that, that's still better, right? And then you increase your closing ratio little by little, that habit is making you become a good salesperson. It's making you a sales profession, professional. Okay, just like any other habit. You know, what's another habit? Call all your leads when you get to the office. Okay, so calling all your leads when you get to that office. Okay, so that's a, a, a work activity habit. Okay, so if you're always working hard, and that's your habit, then what do you become? A hard worker. You become your habit. You guys get me? Like if you're always eating healthy, you become a healthy person. Okay, or if you're, I don't know, you guys could throw anything out there for me. I mean, if you're always working out, then you're, you're becoming a healthy, you know, same thing, like an energized, you know, healthy person. But if you're always doing something, you become what you do every day. Okay, so if you're lazy all the time, then you are a lazy person. <laughs> Make sense? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're eating bad things every day, you're a, an unhealthy person. So it's just a deeper level of understanding how important it is because it becomes 
who you are. Okay, so I just want to break it down for you guys. It's not really a difficult equation that habits equal you because we just have to get through our, ourselves that how important this is. So your habits determine who you become. It's your identity. It determines who you actually are. So that's why people are like, oh, habits are nice, but they're so hard. It's like, well, this is pretty important stuff here is because this literally determines who you are. Okay, so I just want to talk to you guys why it's so important. Okay, so um, I want to share with you guys a certain habit that I feel like will take us to the next level. Okay, and the, you guys want to take a guess at what, what habits I want to really specifically talk about? I like the sales training stuff. You know, that one's really important too, but this one is going to be something where I feel will just uh, help all of us, and it has definitely helped me the last, you know, four years as I developed habits into um, being able to make more money and just overall just be happier too in life. Health habits? Yeah, very close. Yeah, very close. It's energy habits. It's pretty much the same thing. Okay, so I want to talk to you guys about energy habits, okay, because I just want to say that in this business, I feel like the most energetic wins, like the most, most active wins. You know, you're just talking to so much more people, you just have more greater energy, and then even though if you're not doing well, you're still learning because you're like, okay, if I do this, just by taking a lot of action, you're going to learn how to become better too. So energy habits are what I want to talk to you guys about, okay. All right, so um, what kind of habits do you guys, I don't want to go over, take too much time, but what kind of habits do you guys think will help you guys to have more energy at work? Get a good sleep. Yep, okay. I talked about this all the time, right, sleep habits. You know, sometimes that, that's all it takes is just getting good sleep is what makes you more energized. And then when you get better sleep, uh, you know, when I first started, we talked about this in uh, another meeting. Well, I was here at 10 a.m. Now, you know, next year I was here at 9 a.m. Now, this year I'm here. Last year I was here at 8 a.m. And then, or, or the year before that, this year I'm here at, before 7 a.m. So it's like these habits, just slowly and slowly, I've been getting, going to bed a little bit earlier too because I figured, after 9.30, I'm not even doing anything productive. Like, there's just no, nothing I'm doing that's like good for me at that, after that time. So I was like, might as well, you know, it's a habit of getting enough sleep and waking up earlier, waking up before the sun comes up and then just knocking out some stuff that's really important when I'm like, my mind is fresh and I'm like able to think deeply and I'm just get a lot of the hard stuff out of the way. Okay, so sleep habits are super important. Getting up earlier, these are habits I feel that are healthier. Okay. Eating habits. Eating habits. Bingo. Okay. This one's, everybody knows it. Okay, but you guys don't have to be as strict as me, but, you know, fasting, not eating all the bad stuff, you know, and um, not drinking alcohol. Those are all the stuff that has helped me get more energy so I could do a lot better in business. And then the last one. Exercise. Exercise. Okay, great. I'm Jason, you're reading the note. <laughs> <laughs> no? Save, save, save save yeah, no, seriously, he could do this meeting for me. So yeah, um, so let's talk about the benefits of these, okay? So the benefits of having more energy. Happy. Happy. Yeah, you want to talk to more people too? Yeah, you can do more stuff, but let's stick with happiness, okay? What's more important than that? Happy. You know, there's nothing worse than being in pain. I'm not sure if you guys know, uh, have, have experienced that, where you guys have a lot of pain in your life, physically, you know? and not being able to do anything after work or not being in, have enough energy to like give your you know, uh, partner or kids enough attention. Like it just has a lot to do with energy. If you're just energetic, you're just gonna be happier, okay? And you're gonna be making more money, so that has a lot to do with it too. So it's like, okay, well, that's why I want to start off with energy because a lot of this, you know, what we're trying to do here is not just make money, but to be happy. So that's why I want to really just emphasize these habits because that will help us be happier, be better, you know, nicer to our clients, be nicer to each other. It's just, you know, it has a lot to do with positive energy. Okay, so I love that one. Anyone else? Why benefits of having, you know, good health habits, energy habits? Oh, I was saying you're able to talk to more people? Yeah. And then talking to more people helps okay. you do what? Um, increase your salary by selling more policies and getting more referrals and yeah. helping out more. Okay, so these help us, you know. Another right. thing we're here to do, right? We're here to make more money. Yeah. Okay, we have more energy. You're talking to more people. 
you know, if someone says no, thank you, you thought you got a deal, but they said no, you're like, oh, shoot. You're just able to move on because you're just in a better mood. You know, you have energy to go move on faster, too. Okay? So at this point, we're going to be more happier. Okay? I mean, these are, I mean, if you guys would agree, these are pretty important stuff here. Okay? I got another one for you guys. You will live longer. I mean, how about that? Okay? I mean, more life. Okay? I, uh, it's just, you just see it. I mean, I see it all the time. Some people... What's that? I was like, I don't want to pass more than 90. You don't want to? No, you know? Well, some of the stuff, stuff that's happening, I, know. I hear like our kids are going to live past that, way past that. You know, with like the stuff we know and oh, modern medicine and like the stuff that not, if we have good habits and they have good habits, the technology and then the knowledge is there that they could live longer yeah. too. Okay, so um, 90, our parents' generation's 90 is totally different from our generation's 90, mm -hmm. I feel. But still, some people, because of their habits, they're going to go the wrong direction really fast. Okay, so I want to talk to you guys about that too. Okay, um, but let's also talk about if this is the habits help you make more money, be happier, you know, have a longer life. It, it also makes things automatic too, it makes things easier. Easier to get up, easier to get up. Yeah. You could go to a more advanced stage because you're not like, oh my God, waking up is hard, eating is hard. You already conquer that. You know, so you don't have like an automatic like thing, like thinking like you don't have to make decisions every day. You just do it because it's just you. Okay, so get, getting on that automatic level is what habits really help. But getting to that automatic level may be the hardest thing. But once you get to have these things automatic, where you're not even like negotiating with yourself, you just do it because that's who you are, it becomes so much easier, guys. And then you're able to stack another habit on top of that. It's like, okay, I want to go to another level, another better behavior, and then you're going to see even more growth. So if this is so important, and this is the unlock to all these important things in life, what do you guys think people struggle with habits? Temptations. Temptations. What do you have to have to battle these temptations? Discipline. 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 That's the word. Okay, that's the secret word. You know, discipline is what pays off in the future. Okay, and the reason I think a lot of people have trouble with discipline is, what would you guys think? You know, it's just instant gratification. Yeah, that's what it is, you know. People are looking for the easy pleasure, the easy thing right now, like the fun thing right now, and they're not thinking about the future. So when you delay your gratification, that's a concept when if you're able to know that what you're doing today is to pay off for the future, people who think like that are the ones that get ahead. And people are just thinking about just right now, right now, right now. Those are the people that have to pay the price later. I'll pay the, pay the price now to have a better future. Okay, so I'm always doing that. And once I do that, that's a habit too. When you're, people might be thinking like, oh, well, what's the point of that? You're not enjoying life. Well, I enjoy the stage of looking forward to something. Being happy also has a lot to do with when I'm paying these prices right now, I wake up excited because I've been paying the price. So I know the t t future is better. Now, if you're not paying the price now, you're actually subconsciously thinking, oh, shit, you know, this thing's going to be bad for me because I haven't been acting the way I should be. So you go through life like always thinking like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, what's going to happen now because I haven't been paying the price. Or I haven't paying the price so much that I know that my future is so much better. I wake up thinking like, okay, this is great, this is great, this is great. I'm excited about the future because I know they're going to pay off. So um, lastly, just to even further cement it and try to help, just really trying to help you guys. Okay, I'm just really trying to help you guys because... I mean, this is life-changing, right? And there's nothing better for me to be able to say, for you guys to be able to say, hey, you know, the stuff about habits, it changed my life. I mean, there's nothing better I could, not, not a better feeling that I could get if you guys came to me later on in life and were able to say that to me. Okay, so I just really want to just, just really want to cement this in, okay? So the habits, you know, let's say you have good habits, right? Okay, your income's going up. Happiness level is going up, okay, money, you're happy, okay, everything's good, right? Because we, have, we haven't even talked about 
how it compounds over time. Over time, it definitely makes a bigger difference. Okay, if you guys have good habits now, and if you do it for 10 years, you're at a much, that's the problem with habits probably, is that if you do like one squat, nothing's happening. Right, or if you just have like one good meal, you're like, the hell, nothing happened, like where's the payoff? It's bullshit, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you go back to your old self, right? That's the problem probably with habits is that people don't keep with them because they don't see the results right away. But you guys are all young. I feel like I'm young. So I want to have good habits here so it keeps going on, going, going this way. And then if you have bad habits, you know, some bad habits will be, you know, just, I don't know, hanging out with negative people or, you know, drinking or drugs or... Um, oh, no, partying. Huh? <laughs> like partying. Oh, partying, yeah. You know, there's bad habits, right? People have bad habits. Okay, it's just Friday, so I got to party. Like, this could be a bad habit where you could be like, okay, well... Uh, you know, three cheat meals a day, you know, just like, <laughs> it's just bad habits. So if you have bad habits, okay, you're just going to be, you know which direction this is going. This is kind of what I was talking to you guys about. Like, you're just going to be living life being like, oh, shit, oh, shit. Where this, this one, you're going to be like just looking forward to life. Now, this separation here is, this gap is what's going to make the habit worth it. So if you guys are considering having good habits or not, think about the difference here. Okay, because if I were to tell you guys, hey, if you have good habits, then, you know, it's kind of like the payoff has to be big enough. Like if I said, hey, um, go to the store and get this lotto ticket right now because for sure you'll win and it's going to be 100 bucks. Okay, then some of you guys, well, it's going to be 10 bucks, let's say. And so you guys would probably be like, all right, well, maybe I'll go, maybe I won't. There's no urgency, right? You guys would be like, okay, cool, thanks for letting me know. You know, but if I tell you guys, hey, there's a lottery ticket at the liquor store right now, guarantee you will win 100 million. You guys will not even clock out. You guys, just <laughs> <laughs> you guys are running as fast as you guys can. So that's the difference between knowing how much the habits help and how much it hurts. That's the difference there. So if the payoff is big, trust me, the payoff is big, okay? So a lot of times people underestimate how much of a ha the difference that habits make in their life, and that's why they don't act and they just go this way, okay? And this way is not fun, guys, you know? I mean, n being broke, you know, not being happy and dying early, that's not, you know, what I'm here to do. That's not what I want you guys to do. All right? Cool. So, um, la last thing I want to talk to you guys about is... Um, the environment here, okay? Uh, because habits, where you are determines kind of what your habits. Okay, they also say like what type of friends you have determines your habits. Okay, there was um, a study where people were trying to like, scientists were trying to um, understand how, um, what do you call, addictive heroin is. And I guess all the, um, the soldiers in the Vietnam War, they were all hooked on it. Okay, it was always stressed out. They were always having to get high because they could, they could die any time and all, all their soldiers were doing it. And then after the war was over, they went home. And then the ones that had families and a loving like, atmosphere, they were able to just quit. They weren't uh, like, physically addicted to it because they were in a different, whole new environment. So I want this environment to be full of people who have great habits. Okay, I want this place to be a place where people come and they develop good, better habits. Not over time, not, not right away, but over long periods of time, hopefully I could influence you guys so you guys can have better habits because, you know, I just, I want to have a winning culture here and to be able to do that, I want everybody to step up their habit game this year, okay, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the reason we're going to accomplish this goals this year and beyond. And also because, you know, I mean, as a team, uh, I just want, you know, Jazz and Jaylene need to be somewhere where they could kind of just feel like they're, feel like they're winning. You know, I think in life there's a lot, few things that you need, okay? You, you need food, right? You need shelter. You need love, you know? Uh, and no one really talks about it and people don't know, but you need to win. Like winning is vital. Like you need to feel like you're doing something and you're striving for something and that's what keeps you going when it's really difficult times. So, you know, let's take a little bit of responsibility to understand like we have a lot to do with how happy they're gonna be. <coughs> we all determine each other's paychecks here. So we have a responsibility to be here, gonna be like, okay, well I'm gonna make a difference in the other person, not just for your habits and your life, 
but for your teammates. So I just want to um, ask you guys to do it for them. You know, I have tremendous responsibility to make sure they're in an environment they could win. So I just want to dedicate, you know, 2022 in our production this year to them and to their family. So if not for them, uh, let's get it. If it's not for us, let's also, let's get it for them. All right.